How's it going everybody? I'm Ari from Wirefly.com and this is your Wirefly cell phone smackdown. Today it is the Google Nexus One versus the Motorola Droid in the left of our smackdown ring. And both these phones are two of the hottest Android phones currently available. The Nexus One is available for T-Mobile and AT&T if it's unlocked. And the Droid, of course, is available for Verizon, although the Nexus One is coming to Verizon pretty soon. And the Nexus One is running Android 2.1, while the Droid is running Android 2.0, although it is rumored that the Droid will be upgradable to 2.1 in the next couple of weeks. But let's get in the ring and see which phone comes out on top for you. Welcome to center ring of our Wirefly cell phone schmackdown arena. On the right side it's the Google Nexus One and on the left side it's the Motorola Droid. And before I forget I want to remind you guys of the ongoing Wirefly Twitter sweepstakes. We're giving away TVs, DVD players, GPS units. There's 13 daily prizes. So tons of good stuff to give away. Be sure to check that out by following Wirefly on Twitter at Wirefly. But on to our comparison. We'll start off with a quick look at the physical hardware. And you can see that the Nexus One, which is again on the right side, is a little bit slimmer than the Motorola Droid. It's also a little bit lighter. So form factor wise, we'd have to give it to the Nexus One. It will slide easily into a pocket and feels very solidly built. The Droid is also a very solidly built phone, and that extra heft is due to the slide-out QWERTY keyboard. So of course if you're wedded to a physical keyboard, the Droid would be your obvious first choice. And on top of both phones is a standard size 3.5mm headphone jack, and also a power key. And on the left side of the Nexus One you'll find the volume rocker. And that volume rocker is on the right side of the droid along with a dedicated camera key. And right out of the box, Nexus One is going to have a 4GB micro SD card pre installed, while the droid has a 16GB card pre installed. It's a lot more memory right out of the box with the droid. And both phones are upgradable to a 32GB micro SD card. In the Nexus One and Droid both have a 3.7 inch WVGA display. The display on the Nexus One is a AMOLED display, meaning the colors are going to be a little bit more vibrant on the Nexus One, a little bit sharper. Probably the biggest difference between the Droid and the Nexus One is going to be in the realm of processing speed and RAM. The Nexus One has a 1 GHz processor while the Droid only has a 550 MHz processor. And as far as RAM goes, 512 megabytes of RAM on the Nexus One and only 256 on the Motorola Droid. So twice as much RAM on the Nexus One. And really as far as day-to-day -day operations go, such as checking email, sending a text message, that kind of thing, the uh, difference isn't going to be that noticeable between the Droid and the Nexus One. But if you uh, start doing a lot of multitasking, have a lot of applications running at the same time, or memory intensive games, then the uh, difference between the Nexus One and the Droid as far as speed goes is going to become a lot more noticeable. We'll talk about network for a second. The uh, Nexus One can support T-Mobile's 3G network, and of course the Droid can support uh, Verizon's 3G network as well. But if you decide to pop an AT&T SIM into the Nexus One, you're going to be out of luck as far as 3G goes. So on AT&T, the Nexus One can only operate on AT&T's Edge network, which is really a pretty significant downfall for an otherwise very powerful smartphone. And since you're probably getting pretty tired of watching me flip through home screens like this as I talk, I want to show you some of the uh, key differences between Android 2.0 and 2.1. And again, uh, the Droid will be upgradable to 2.1 in the next few weeks we're expecting, so all of this goodness will be available on the Droid eventually as well. But probably as I was flipping through, you've noticed that there are five home screens instead of three home screens. And you can hold down on the dots down here to indicate which home screen you're in for a preview of each home screen. And then tap that to jump to that home screen. And you've also noticed the swirling galaxy in the background. 
That's part of the live wallpaper feature. There are a number of live wallpapers to choose from. You've definitely seen that one as part of the official Nexus One videos. And there's some widgets too. So there's our news and weather widget. You'll also notice that your menu is a little bit different. Instead of our collapsible drawer here, we now have kind of a 3D fadeaway effect. And also an updated gallery. So we'll take a look at that on both phones. Also kind of a 3D effect here. And the same deal with videos as well. You also now have Google Goggles. Kind of a tongue twister there. But you can basically take a picture of something and more or less run a web search with it. And since no Schmackdown would be complete without a quick browser battle, we'll take a look at Wirefly.com on both the Nexus One and the Droid. We'll check out the same link. So we just happen to have a Droid banner showing up right now. And no multi-touch pinch to zoom on either phone, unfortunately, still. Although you can get some uh, third-party applications, third-party browsers that'll let you do that, or get the uh, European ROM ported to your phone. But we'll check out the same link. We are connected over the very same Wi-Fi network on both phones. So you can see that the Nexus One definitely had the leg up there by a couple of seconds. And if we back out, you can see that that scroll is extremely smooth on the Nexus One. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a little bit smoother than the Droid. And we'll wrap up with a quick look at the cameras on the back of both phones. And you can also see that with Google branding on the Droid, and then just large Google on the back of the HTC made Nexus One. So pretty interesting there. But both cameras are 5 megapixel cameras. It's a dual LED flash on the back of the Droid, and an LED flash there on the Nexus One. And both cameras can capture video up to 720 by 480 Although I do think that the Droid's video quality was a little bit better than that of the Nexus One. But we'll post up a video sample taken with the Nexus One that you can compare to our uh, sample with the Droid and decide for yourself. And also with the Droid, it's a 4 times digital zoom versus a 2 times on the Nexus One. But like always, we give you the facts and then let you decide whether the Droid or the Nexus One is the phone for you. So let us know in the comments, and also be sure to hit that subscribe button, and hopefully we will see you at a future Wirefly cell phone review or smackdown. I'm Ari from Wirefly.com, thanks for watching.